Yeah, Airmont has problems uh, with wake effects when you're dealing with uh, streamlined structures like this cylinder here, uh, lattice open type structures, complex terrain, upwind terrain effects, uh, spherical type structures, uh, and it really wasn't designed to handle uh, anything but a square box. Yeah, if you get some uh, overestimates from Aramod uh, due to inaccuracies that we just talked about, uh, you might, it might mean you're going to need to increase your stack height here, which uh, can be very expensive. Or you might need to install additional mission control. Again, that's uh, expensive and there's an ongoing annual expense involved with that. Uh, or the project might be disapproved entirely because you just can't come into compliance with standards. If you want more accurate dispersion predictions for sites like this where uh, air mod's not designed, what you need to do is an equivalent building dimension study. And so what you do is you, you build a scale model of the actual site like this we're looking at right here. You release a tracer gas from the stacks in the wind tunnel, measure the concentrations downwind and get the maximum concentrations versus downwind distance. So you could do one here for the tanks. You might do another wind direction here for the lattice structure. And then after you're done with that testing, you go over here and you do what's called the equivalent building testing. And so you replace those buildings over there with a simple square building, which AirMod's designed to handle quite well. And so you might start with a building like this to represent the tanks. You do some testing, measure the maximum concentrations downwind, compare the two, and if they're the same, this would be the equivalent building. If it's not, you take that out, put in a different building, run it another test, and then uh, compare the two, and if those agree, that's the equivalent building. Similarly, if you uh, wanted to do the lattice structure, you might start with this shape building to represent the lattice structure, run a test, compare the concentration profiles. Then you might want to put in a shorter building like this to uh, see how that compares with the actual lattice structure. And you repeat that process until you get the ground level concentrations uh, agreeing for the actual site and with the equivalent building. And then at that point, you've defined building dimensions that you can put into AirMod that you're sure will give accurate results. Uh, the EBD method has been approved uh, on numerous occasions over the past 20 years by EPA. Uh, you usually have to put in a protocol first to have them look at it, get some feedback. Once you get the protocol approved, you, you, kick, you do the work according to that protocol. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was just at a, a, a workshop, EPA workshop, last week, and uh, they did mention uh, they supported the use of equivalent building dimensions and that they found that it would be useful to solve some of the problems Airmod has right now. Thank you.